Hi everyone, it's Diane from the Picket Fence Greenhouse and Gardens. You can find me at the picketfencegreenhouse.info. Today I had a gardening question and I just kind of wanted to go over it a little bit. Um, when is a good time to plant clematis? I jotted some notes down because I want to make sure I touch on everything and I want to make sure everybody knows when the good time. I have honestly have never transplanted a clematis. Um, when I all my clematises are where they at where they are since I planted them there hasn't been any need to but a gal asked me today when's a good time to transplant and I just kind of wanted to put this video out I'd rather be outside doing a video today but the 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 Asian beetles are really bad here in Iowa right now since we're so warm and they're just flying all over outside and they're coming inside too but. I'm kind of in a safe spot, so I'm okay. All right, when to transplant clematis? Um, the best time to transplant clematis is in the spring, early spring when the ground is workable. Okay, the best thing to do, dig a hole, dig it wider than the root ball. This is pretty normal. Uh, you want to make sure the roots have plenty of room to grow and to move on out and down and out, and you know, when they, when you put it in the hole. Okay, make sure you place good rich soil in the hole with them. I don't think it would hurt to put some good compost of some kind. Uh, they also say to put lime in with the clematis and make sure you place the root ball. The crown can go just slightly lower than what it was situated in your last previous plantings. Um, and, and make sure you water well. It, and, Another thing, a root stimulant is good if you want to purchase root stimulant, maybe you have it. It's always good for transplant shock. There ain't no doubt when you dig something that's been in the ground for years, it doesn't hurt to give it something so it ain't so shocked, the roots aren't so shocked, okay? And make sure, you know, if we, you get a dry period, you know, you're going to want to make sure this, uh, new, this old clematis that you newly planted into a different area is watered in well. And another thing about clematis, they like their feet shaded. Feet are the roots. They like them shaded. And a way you can do that is to mulch real good put, or else put some sort of organic matter on top of the area where the roots lay. I mean, the roots are underground, but you know right there where you plant it, where the roots are. They like to be shaded because clematis like to stay more on the, wet, on the wet side. So I hope that's helped today on when to transplant your clematis, and we'll talk to you soon. Visit me at picketfencegreenhouse.info, and you can also find me on Facebook and Twitter. We'll talk soon.